Hi, this is Anita with Video Fitness Coach. Today's session is about weightlifting. I've gone over to the weight rack and picked up some five pound weights. I teach a weightlifting class and in my classes I often see when people are doing weightlifting, uh, doing bicep curls with their weights, their elbows will swing back and forth like this. And so I want to show the proper form for doing bicep curls and a couple other weightlifting exercises that we'll go over today. First of all, when you're getting ready to start with your bicep curl, your elbows will be right here next to your ribs. They're not back here behind your ribs and they're not leaning on your stomach like this. Secondly, your back is nice and straight. Shoulders are down and back. So we'll retract the shoulder blades back and down. Weight is evenly distributed on both feet. Abs are tight, nice straight body here, nice straight stance, and we'll start right here with the weights at our thighs. As we come up like this, we want to make sure that we have an even time going down as we do going up. When we go down, we're using the muscle just as much as going up as long as we resist as we go down. So the bicep curl isn't lift and then let gravity take my hand down, lift and release, it's lift and resist, lift and resist. And as we lift the weight up, we're only going about three quarters of the way up. If I turn to the side here, you'll see that if I bring the weight all the way up to my shoulder here, this is a state of rest. And so we don't want rest in our bicep curl. So we're going to stop about right here. Uh, almost all the way up, but not quite. A little more than three fourths. And so as I start at the bottom, I'll lift up here. Elbows are staying nice and straight, hugging to the ribs, and then down. When we teach weightlifting, a lot of times we'll vary the uh, repetitions. So we might do single curls for a while, and then we'll do two count curls for a while, and then we'll do four count curls, or even eight. And this gives the muscle a chance to go slow or to contract quickly when we do singles, like this. Another exercise you can do with the hand weights is a shoulder exercise called an upright row. I'll stand here with my feet slightly further apart, starting with the weights right down here at my thighs, and pull up close to my body. Notice my elbows come up, 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 all the way to shoulder height, and then release down. And then in this exercise, I also see a lot of times people lifting here and then just releasing down. They'll lift and then they'll just release down. So we need to remember to control that weight going down Otherwise, you're losing half of your exercise. And we don't want to waste half of our time while we're in the gym, right? We want to use all of our time. When we do upright rows, we can alternate like this or do both arms. At the top, if you will give a slight elbow push to the back, you're getting a little bit more work for the upper back and then come back down. If we want to work the back anymore, we can do some rows and deadlifts. I'm turning to the side here so that you can see that I'm going to have a nice straight back and then bend over right here at the hips and in this deadlift pretend like your arms are just holding dead weight. Okay, The weights are just dead in my hands. I'm not holding and lifting them up with my arms like this. I have a nice straight back. I'm going to bend over, bend over, bend over. Now, the amount that you can go forward will depend on the flexibility of your hamstrings and the back of your legs. Some people can only go here before they start rounding their back to try to make their hands go further down. So it's not how far you go down, it's how far you can go down with correct form. Some people can go all the way over to 90 degrees. This is about as far as I can go right here. And then back up. And as we pull back up, we're going to tighten through the glutes and use the back. So we're going to go down nice and controlled and back up, pulling through the back of the legs and the glutes and shoulders go back at the top. When we do a row, 
We bend over just slightly, but not quite as far as the deadlift. Pull the weights up like this, elbows go back, and then release it down, and then stand up. And often, in a weightlifting class, you'll do more than one row. So you might see three, like this, and then standing up, or even more than three. Another exercise you can do with the hand weight is a tricep. We can go overhead with one hand or both. I'm going to show this with one hand right here behind the head. So right here in the center of the body, my weight is going right behind my head. And notice my elbow is not out here to the side. It's right here to the front. The weight goes directly behind my head. And then I'll straighten the arm. The elbow stays stationary right here the whole time. So we'll go behind and lift, behind and lift. Nice stationary upper arm right here, does not move around. If you see this, this is gonna be incorrect, okay? So very controlled on that tricep exercise. Another way to do triceps is with a kickback. I like doing kickbacks where I kneel down on the, on the step. You can also do them standing. And if you're standing, you will take the weight right here next to your ribs and then extend the elbow back slightly behind your back. So the elbow's not right here like it is with bicep curls. We're going to take the elbow back slightly. Then the elbow will stay stationary just like in the overhead tricep and we'll just straighten the arm and then bring it back in. Straighten and bring it back in. And if you keep the elbow back the whole time, then you'll notice that we're working the tricep. Back and in. And a lot of times in my classes, I see this weight swinging up like this. And when we swing from back to front like this, for one thing, it throws you off balance a little bit. Secondly, you're not getting that second half of the exercise. You're not getting the resistance. You're just letting gravity pull your arm down. So we need to resist against gravity here and then press back so that we're getting the entire exercise all the way back and all the way forward. And so you can do these leaning over slightly like this or kneeling down on the step. When you're all the way horizontal, like kneeling down on the step, the elbow really has to come up. Some people don't get it up quite enough. The elbow really has to come up, and then you're really fighting gravity when you're horizontal, and it makes it a lot more difficult. I hope you like this arm exercise series. We'll do a little bit more with legs and back in the next set. Thanks for joining me. This is Anita with Video Fitness Coach. Bye-bye.